If you're a big SEMrush fan like I am, you might have noticed the AI powered features sneaking into and kind of showing up in different areas in SEMrush. In this video, we're going to dive into the AI features that they have around the keyword research tool, and I'm going to show you how to use it. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And on this channel, I help simplify things like SEO, websites, tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So in today's video, we're going to jump into my favorite SEO tool of choice, SEMrush. And I'm going to bring you behind the scenes and kind of show you the different ways that you can use the AI powered features when you're doing keyword research, which just so happens to be my favorite part of SEO to begin with. So without further ado, let's kick it into the screen share. Okay, so really quick for clarity's sake, before we get into the nitty gritty here, the AI powered feature that I'm going to go into, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to play around with it with just a free version of SEMrush. You are going to have to have a paid plan in order to utilize this at the time of this recording. So by the time that you're watching this, this might change, but I just tried to do it with a free account that I have and I wasn't able to use this AI powered feature that we're going to dive into. If you do want to give a paid plan like a trial, I do have a link for a 14 day free pro trial. So the link to that will be in the video description box below, or you can go to mariahmagazine.com slash SEMrush, and that will redirect you over there. Now, I will say that that link is an affiliate link, and I am part of the affiliate program over at SEMrush, but it's truly only because I'm obsessed with their tool and I use it every single day for the clients that I work with. Okay, let's jump into the pro version and take this for a spin here. So the keyword overview tool, which is in the SEO toolkit on the left hand side, you'll see under keyword research keyword overview. So let's just pretend that we are Canva, the graphic design software, and let's pretend that we want to show up for the keyword graphic design software. I know, very clever. So we're going to put the keyword in there and we're just going to click search to kind of see what pops up. So this information, you should be able to get most of it in the free version because we haven't used that AI powered feature yet. But here we can see the monthly search volume in this specific database. So if you're not in the US, make sure that you're changing to where your business is located. And so we can see how many people are searching for this monthly, how difficult it's going to be to rank for this specific keyword. We can see the global search volume. We can see the search intent. So what kind of information or like what is the user looking to do when they're searching for this specific keyword. We can see the trend over time. And then if you do paid ads, which I do not, but if you do, you can see the CPC and all of that fun data happening here. Then if we go down, we can see it based on this seed keyword or this main root keyword up here, we can see the different keyword variations and we can see each one's volume and each one's keyword difficulty. So every keyword has has its own search volume and its own keyword difficulty. And then based on those, then we have some questions we can play around with. And Summer, she even goes into keyword strategy, which I think is really helpful. Like if you wanted to target this keyword on different pillar and sub pages, it kind of breaks that down for you. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We want to dive into the AI powered feature. So what we're going to do is pop in the URL right here. And what that does is Semrush essentially runs it through their own like internal algorithm. And we can see the monthly search volume didn't change, but we now have a personal keyword difficulty score and a topical authority score. These are huge. This is like the biggest benefit to using the AI powered feature because before we're kind of just looking at that other data. So like this keyword difficulty for everybody. And I think that when you're first getting started doing keyword research, you can kind of get caught up in that and lose sight of the fact that topical authority matters a lot because these search engines, they essentially want to showcase the best solution to the problem to their users so that their users are happy and they continue using the search engine. And so what kind of plays into that? It's not just search volume and keyword difficulty. It also is how relevant is your 
your website, is your content for this specific keyword right here. And so if you have an entire website about graphic design software, your topical authority is probably going to be very high or at least very relevant that like, yeah, if you want to target this keyword on this website, that makes a lot of sense. And so that actually takes your keyword difficulty score and drops it and makes it super easy for your site to rank for because your site is literally all around this topic. Okay. So there wasn't really a way to be able to figure out this information previously. So that's kind kind of why I'm obsessed with it here. And then we also have the tool will give you potential traffic. So how much traffic you will probably get if you start ranking for this keyword, to be honest, this is kind of low for this type of search volume. I'm not sure how they're getting this. I don't know if I agree with it, uh, but also I'm not the algorithm, so I don't know. I would take this as kind of like a grain of salt, okay? So what I do wanna go down into is view high potential keywords, okay? So this is going to give us a list happening here and we're gonna see all of these keywords listed here. We're gonna see all of the separate intents the monthly search volume and the potential traffic, which like I said, I don't really agree with these, but then we have that personal keyword difficulty and you can see what a huge difference this makes because if you were just doing straight up keyword research without this AI powered feature based on your domain name, you might think, wow, this keyword is actually brutal and very hard to rank for. But since your website has a high topical authority around this topic that the keyword has, it's actually way easier for you to rank for it. So this is wildly helpful. It's even moving some of these orange ones green. It's going to be super easy to rank for. So this is incredible at like helping you be able to make decisions based on your keyword and your topical authority. I'm sure that domain authority comes in here. And it's such like a personal thing when we're choosing keywords that a lot of the time as an SEO expert, I'm kind of running through these things in my head. But when I'm trying to teach students and clients how to use tools like this to make decisions, this AI powered feature just makes it a whole lot better and a whole lot easier. And then as you can see here, we have a little number right here. So you can see that canva.com is in position number 24 already for this specific keyword. So that might be a really big indicator of like, hey, we're on page three. And I say page three because there's usually around 10 organic searches per page. So number 24 would be page three. And so it's like, okay, we're actually on page three here. Do we want to prioritize this keyword on the website, on a sales page, on the homepage, on a blog post, on something to see if we can start to bump up that rankings because it's really not as difficult as maybe we would have thought to begin with. So there's a lot more that we can dive into in terms of like the AI powered features that SEMrush has, especially if you want to start digging into the keyword strategy builder. But I just wanted to kind of come in and show you different ways you can start thinking about this and different ways that you can use this and why I think it's so dang helpful. And if you get a little confused on the topical authority calculations, I'll put this help doc in the video description box below. It basically breaks down the four scores so that you can understand what they all mean and be able to make better decisions for your website and your SEO. So I will also put a link to that in the video description box below. And so like I said, if you want to give this AI powered feature a little spin on your own, you are going to need a paid plan. So go ahead and snag the free 14 day pro trial. I have that affiliate link in the video description box below. So that's it for today's video. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. The simple thumbs up does go a long way in letting the YouTube algorithm know that my video is helpful and therefore hopefully pushing it out to more people that also might find it helpful. And if you have any questions about SEMrush, about their AI powered features or anything like that, feel free to comment below this video and let me know. I use your comments, your feedback, and your questions to inspire new videos on this channel. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of this video and you're just 
just getting started with DIY SEO, but you want some help navigating the process, then definitely consider downloading my free roadmap to successful SEO. The free SEO guide dives into what SEO is, why it's important, and how search engines work, along with my six-step process to improving your SEO and your rankings. And then finally, I dive into the three tasks that you can start doing today to get the results that you want from Google. If you want to go ahead and snag this for yourself, then you can click the link in the video description box below, or you can head over to my website at mariahmagazine.com roadmap to download your own copy. Thank you.